couple turns that I think are pretty neat. Um, some of our guys at the U work on it. Um, like I talked about before, when you get on top, got to have an idea where you're going to go to. Okay, Got to have some sort of breakdown where I can stop his first move. First thing we'll work on is it goes, same thing we worked on last week, bumping him forward, looking for that wrist. Okay, Instead of attacking his near wrist, we're going to attack his far wrist. Okay, This one works pretty good. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to bump him forward. Like I said, when I get on top, I want to stop his first move. Okay, whatever it is, I want to stop his first move and I want to break him flat. I want to get him extended. And I want to keep him there and take some steam out of him. So the first thing I'm looking to do, same thing as I worked out, we worked on last week. Bumping him with our knee and then guiding him forward right behind his tricep to bump him forward just to create a little bit of space. So all I want to do right here is I want to tack this knee arm, I want to bump it forward, and I'm going to tack his far wrist. Okay, so I got one hand in the belly button, one hand in the elbow. I'm going to bump him forward. As I bump him forward right here, I'm going to look for his far wrist. Okay, once I attack this far wrist right here, now it's a matter of me just pulling it off the mat. Getting it off the mat. Very easy to do. Okay, and the reason why this is so easy to do, as I bump forward right here, I've got all the weight post on this hand. Tack that wrist, pull it right off the mat. Now, basically what I'm doing is I'm just taking one of his posts away. Once I take one of his posts away, that's where I'm going to bring him down. So I'm just going to bump forward. Dr. Rager right doesn't have a pulse. Okay, so I'm just using my hips and my body to drive him off, off his face. Bump, attack the far wrist. Okay, my arms are already underneath his body. I'm bumping, going right for that far wrist. Good time to hit this if you got wrestling a guy that, that stays in a, a good base and I'm having a hard time chopping him, you know, and knocking him down to his belly. Just bump, attack that far wrist. Once I take away one of his pulses, it's very hard for this guy to stay on his base. Now it's just a matter of just tapping whatever I want. You can drive into him, tap this near ankle, lift it, drive him down to the mat. Now, once I get him down to the mat, you here. One thing that I want to do when I get this arm underneath his body, and this works really well, it's a really good way to get some quick back points and a good way to get a nice tight pin, okay? But in order for me to get this tight, I got to get this arm completely extended, okay? If his elbow's underneath him right here, I still got this wrist, it's not tight. Basically, what I want to do is I want to trap his arm underneath his body. So I got to pull. Pull. Get as tight as I possibly can. I want tension on this guy's arm. The more tension I have on his arm, the more steam I'm going to take out of it. Okay? And even if I don't turn this guy with this, at least I'm going to get this arm tired. That's all my whole objective when I wrestle, right? Get a guy tired? Yep. Yeah. Okay? So I'm going to stay on this like a dog on a ball. Keep my weight on it. Keeping tension on it. Keeping this arm extended. Okay? As long as there's tension on it, I'm taking some steam on it. I'm getting it tired. Okay? Now, what I'm doing right here, Basically making a sandwich. His arm's a piece of bread, I'm a piece of bread, his body's a piece of meat. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all my weight on top of him right here. Okay? This is what starts to wear on his arm, wear on his shoulder, wear on his bicep. Okay? So basically what I'm doing is I'm sandwiching his body. I'm getting his shoulder tight. Now when I'm gonna go to finish, I got my free arm. I'm gonna stay on this wrist the whole time. 